When nature unleashes its full force, few phenomena are as destructive and awe-inspiring as hurricanes. Mother Nature sure has many ways to astonish us, but hurricanes stand out due to their sheer power and destructive potential. Earthquakes may shake the ground and volcanoes might spew molten lava, but hurricanes? They combine the elements of water and wind in the most fearsome ways. They are a marvel, a testament to the untamed wildness that resides within the world. Known by different names across the globe, from typhoons to cyclones, these swirling vortexes of wind and rain embody nature's raw power. However, as frightening as they appear, hurricanes play a crucial role in maintaining the Earth's equilibrium by redistributing heat from the tropics to colder regions. But what exactly is a hurricane and how does it form? A hurricane, also known as a typhoon or cyclone, depending on where it occurs, is a massive storm system characterized by a low pressure center, high winds and heavy rain. These storms are a force of nature that command both awe and fear. Born over warm tropical seas, they are the result of a delicate balance of atmospheric conditions. When the ocean's surface temperature rises, it heats the air above, creating an area of low pressure. This warm air rises, causing cooler air to swoop in and replace it, the cooler air then heats up and rises, continuing the cycle and creating a spinning mass of air. The power of a hurricane is truly a sight to behold. The winds can reach speeds of over 250 kilometers per hour, generating waves several meters high. This, coupled with torrential rain, can lead to widespread flooding and significant damage. The hurricane's eye, a calm center amidst chaos, belies the destructive force surrounding it. The impact of a hurricane upon landfall is often devastating. Homes can be destroyed, communities decimated, and lives tragically lost. Moreover, the aftermath can leave the affected regions grappling with power outages, food shortages, and disease outbreaks. The cost of recovery can climb into the billions, making hurricanes not only a meteorological event, but also a significant economic one. These powerful storms form over warm ocean waters and can cause devastating impacts when they make landfall. The life cycle of a hurricane begins when warm, moist air over the ocean rises, forming an environmental event that is both captivating and terrifying. This moisture-laden air, heated by the intense tropical sunlight, ascends towards the sky, leaving a void below. Naturally, the surrounding cooler air rushes in to fill this void, thus creating a swirling mass of wind. This wind, a powerful and relentless force, then starts to gather speed and strength. This chain of events is a beautiful yet destructive dance between heat, moisture and atmospheric pressure. The interplay of these elements shapes the characteristic spiral of hurricanes and further fuels their growth. As the process begins, we see moisture transform into clouds, painting an ominous image in the sky. These cloud formations, though seeming chaotic, are precise and systematic they start to spin around the central point of low pressure, crafting a vortex in the sky that shows the raw power of nature. This spinning motion is not random but influenced by the rotation of the Earth itself, a phenomenon science refers to as the Coriolis effect. This effect in the formation of hurricanes explains why these storms always turn counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. The impact of hurricanes can be catastrophic, they are known by different names in different locations. In the Atlantic and Northeast Pacific, they are called hurricanes. But in the Northwest Pacific, they're known as typhoons. And in the South Pacific and Indian Ocean, they're called cyclones. These storms pack a powerful punch. High winds whipping at a speed of more than 100 miles per hour can wreak havoc, tearing apart buildings and uprooting trees. Torrential rainfall leads to flash floods, turning streets into rivers. Storm surges can raise the level of the sea by as much as 30 feet, causing coastal flooding. And as if that wasn't enough, hurricanes can even spawn tornadoes, adding another layer of destruction. This often results in extensive damage, power outages, and even loss of life. Preparation and timely evacuation can save lives and mitigate damage. Preparing for a hurricane is crucial. It involves a series of meticulous steps that you need to follow to ensure your safety and that of your loved ones. First and foremost, securing your home is of utmost importance. This means not just closing doors, but also reinforcing them. 
Plywood or hurricane shutters are highly recommended. Next, setting up an emergency kit is a must. It should contain food, water, medications, important documents, among other things. Don't forget to pack enough for each member of your family, including pets, for at least three days. This kit plays an integral part in your survival in the aftermath of a hurricane. Furthermore, knowing your evacuation routes is absolutely essential. Planning ahead of time where to go, which roads to take and how to get there can save your life when disaster strikes. Local authorities often provide maps and advice, so stay informed and be alert. Additionally, staying updated about the weather is also necessary. Listening to the radio, watching the news or using weather apps can help you track the hurricane and make necessary decisions promptly. Remember that hurricanes are unpredictable and can change course suddenly. Being complacent is not an option. Make sure to follow all guidelines issued by authorities and take every precaution possible. Awareness and preparation are your best defences against a hurricane. Hurricanes are powerful forces of nature and it is crucial to recognise the strength they can unleash. These massive storms can bring destructive winds, torrential rainfall and catastrophic flooding. However, with the right knowledge and preparation, we can mitigate their effects. It's about knowing the signs, understanding the terminologies used by meteorologists and preparing emergency kits for the worst case scenario. It's also about adhering to evacuation orders when they are given and having a plan to protect your home and family. By staying informed about the science behind these mighty storms, we can better protect ourselves and our communities. For more fascinating insights into the natural world and to delve deeper into the wonders of science, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Join us to explore more about how nature operates and what we can learn from it.